I'm not sure that the challenges is, have changed over the years, but they're the same as they've always been. Rather than simply replace a piece of skin or cartilage or lining that's missing, the difficulty has always been to take other pieces of skin and cartilage which do not look like the nose and turn them into something that looks like a nose. So the challenge has always been to restore the normal. And the big change has been a, a, from a traditional method, which has been used for hundreds of years, to just fill a hole. If there's a missing part of the body, you fill it with something, you get it healed, to uh, moving on to healing a wound, but making it look normal, such that if someone walks into the room, it passes as normal. It does not look scarred, it does not look distorted. Uh, it's really a normal living structure that allows people to return to their normal life. Oh, I think the changes have been the acceptance of the forehead flap, the acceptance of restoring lining with intranasal tissue, especially by folding the forehead flap for lining, which has been done for hundreds of years, but only really has, uh, has uh, reached a, a level of finesse to make it really worthwhile. Uh, we now, for more difficult problems, will actually take skin from another part of the body using microvascular techniques and move that skin, to, usually from the forearm, and use that for lining, and that's revolutionized the, the ability to make a normal nose when actually there's absolutely no nose left after a cancer or, or a serious traumatic injury. There's lots of new techniques and the question is which one is helpful and which one will disappear. Uh, the use of fillers has become a little bit more uh, promulgated in recent years. I must admit I don't use them and I have, but I do have a bias. I see the occasional patient, not a lot, but I see terrible disasters from people having uh, fillers injected in their nose that uh, sometimes the skin will die, the nose will necrose, uh, and it turns a simple request for can you make my nose a little different in shape with a simple injection in the office into a major loss of the nose, destruction of the nose that really require quite complex uh, reconstructive procedures, and uh, especially if done by uh, untrained people, it can really be a disaster.